Camera Obscura is a device to start all the history of photography. In Latin, Camera Obscura means dark chamber. The term comes from the original device in which a completely black room had a small hole put through a wall that showed the image that was reflected through the hole just flipped. The idea first came into concept around 400 BC, when Moti claimed that an image was flipped upside down as the light from one thing travels in straight lines. Aristotle put practical use of Moti's ideas by examining the light that traveled through a small hole in between tree leaves during a solar eclipse. The Arab scientist Al-Hazan in the 19th century created the first real dark chamber in which he took a completely dark room and put a hole in the wall that showed the light from the object outside the room to the opposite wall. The next users of the camera obscura were those during the Renaissance, like Leonardo da Vinci. They used the camera to add dimension and perspective to their drawings. It was not until 300 years later when Johann Hendrik Schultz discovered that an image would be preserved for a little when exposed to a silver compound when light changed the appearance. In order to provide a more publicly accessible product, two men of the 19th century, Henry Fox Talbot and Louis Daguerre, created two competing ways to produce images. Talbot used a calotype paper covered in silver iodide coating that created a lasting photograph of the image from one negative. Although the paper allowed many copies to be made of the image, Daguerre's chemistry method beat out Talbot's method by using a silver plate produced a sharper image even though the new image had to be taken each photograph. Some modern photographers, like Abelardo Morel, use the camera obscura's technique today by making a smaller hole on a window and covering the rest, having an image appear on the opposite wall, then take a photograph of the projected image.